How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at virtual ENV and how we can use it with Python. We're going to look at what it is, we're going to look at how to install it, and how to use it in your projects. Okay, so first off, what is virtual ENV? Well, simply put, it is an environment inside of your machine. Well, when you have a bunch of different projects on your machine, you want to separate the, pack the Python packages from the other projects. So say you have two different projects both involving Django. The version of Django may be specific to that project, and if it's the wrong one, it may cause your project to break. So to fix this, we can use virtual environments to isolate our project packages for specific projects. So if I come into my terminal and I use the command pip list, these are all the Python packages that I have installed globally on my machine. Now you'll notice that they all have different versions. So if I want to make a, a project with, say, Tweepy with version 3.6, I can do that with a virtual environment. So the first thing that we need to do is install virtual environment. So to install virtual environment, we can write pip install virtual env. Now I already have this, so it won't do anything for me. Once you have that installed, we can now make a virtual environment. Okay, so I am now in a folder that is stored on my desktop named Environments. So you can go into whatever folder you want, be it your desktop or another folder in your system. And inside here, let's create our first project. So let's say, so let's make a folder and we'll call this your project. We list that out, we can see it. Now let's move into your project. And this is where we want to install our virtual environment. So to make your virtual environment, you're going to use the command virtual env, and then whatever you want to name it. So I usually name mine simply env. Now if we list everything out, you see we have this env. And if we cd into env, you'll see we have bin, include, and lib. Okay, so now back in this directory here. So that installed the virtual environment on our machine. The next thing we need to do is activate it. So to do that, we can simply, we can simply write source, and then env slash bin slash activate. And if you did that correctly, you, you should see your environment name here in parentheses right next to uh, where you are. So now that we're inside our virtual environment, if we do pip list again, you see that we only get three different packages as opposed to the tens of hundreds of packages that we had globally installed. So let's say I want to install a, a package. pip install numpy. So that was successfully installed. And now if we do pip list, we see numpy is here. Additionally, I can say pip install Django. And when I list that out, there we go, we see Django now. So that's how to install packages inside of our virtual environment. What if we want to get out of our virtual environment? Well, we can do that with the deactivate command. When we run that, we are now out of a virtual environment. So if I run pip list, you'll see just like we saw at the beginning, I get all of this stuff. Now, here is our virtual environment. Let's say we want to remove that. Well, we can use the command rm rf and then the name of the environment, in our case, env. We'll run that. Now if we list it all out, you see it's not there anymore. So let's create that again. This time let's specify the version of Python that we want to use. So to do that, we can say Python, and then I put 3 here, so I want to use Python 3, dash m, and then the name, vnv, and then the name of the environment. So we'll use env again. And if we list that out, we get our virtual environment called env. Let's activate that again with source bin, 
env slash bin slash activate. There we go. And let's list out all of our packages. There we go. So I'm going to update pip just so it stops giving me this error. All right, perfect. Now if we list out this again, so you have your own virtual environment, but where do you start working on your project? Well, you're going to want to do that on the same level as env. So say I want to make a file called main.py. I can use the touch command, main.py. We list it out. There we go. We see it's at the same level as the virtual environment. Same thing if I want to make a folder called my project. And inside there, I can make another file. That works also. So I'm going to run pip list one more time. And let's install Django. So say I want to save all of these packages so I can use them in, say, another project or, or something else. Well, to do that, I can say pip freeze into it's a greater than sign requirements.txt. So this is standard procedure to save all of your dependencies and packages into a folder requirements.txt. Now, if we list this out, we see we have our text file made. And if we use the cat command, we can list out everything that's in there. And you see we have the package and the version right next to it. And you can uninstall as well. So just like we installed Django, we can say pip uninstall Django. Spell that wrong. Pip uninstall Django. There we go. Now if we say pip list, Django is not there. And, and we can install specific versions of packages too. So if we look up here, we see Django was 3.0.6. Let's install install Django equals equals 3.0.5. Now if we say pip list, we see Django is 3.0.5. Now if we list in now if we look back in the requirements.txt, you see this was not updated yet. So you have to be careful whenever you remove a package or add a package or update the version on a package, you need to run the pip freeze command again. Now we can look into that and the version is updated. And just as a reminder, to get out of your virtual environment, we use the deactivate command. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.